when it comes to the coolness thing is that mm. I'd also add that we compare our stuff to uh, the Western stuff or to other cultures that are sort of quote unquote cooler uh, because of how they've been portrayed in various forms. Um, so if you're comparing, uh, you know, a knight to uh, an, an African spearman, it's just not quite the same, right? So the, 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 they have the armor and like, it, it takes on various forms. Like look at Lord of the Rings. The whole concept of it is based on a medieval kingdom, right? Which is, yeah. you know, a rehashing of, of uh, a version of European history uh, just in a different world. Uh, so that's that sort of thing. Like people get engaged into that story. And some of these characters are based on real life characters or, you know, like they uh, they take inspiration from them. So we, we see that over and over and we read these stories, we read Lord of the Rings. They're like, oh, my God, Aragorn is really, really, really cool. He's a knight with a sword. But have you ever seen a story about a, an African spearman? No, <laughs> you, you haven't. Uh, so you're not like going to feel like it's cool because you've never seen it be cool um you 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 know so, so people have to start taking those our stories and transforming them into other other aspects for them to start to take on a life of their own and to start being cool i think black yeah. panther is a really great example of, of how uh they, they've done that you know uh that like yeah. People are really into Black Panther, the Dora Milaje with their spears and and all like man. When I first started, like when I first moved, that stuff wasn't cool at all. Like Black Panther, yeah, started in 1965, but the whole aspect of spear, like sometimes some people call me spear chucker. Like it was, <laughs> you know what I mean? It it just wasn't cool, and you didn't want to be. There were a few Africans who I met who were just like, I don't. They pretended like they weren't African. Um, and I get it. I, I, I understood it because you just felt like we don't really have that. We didn't really have that coolness factor to, to us, which is not true. There are a lot of like interesting stories that we, oh, man, the things, things I, I read and I'm just like, I can't wait to like change this into something. This is super cool. Uh, you, you mentioned, um, like, like you know, dressing up as Elsa or dressing up as like a historical character. Uh, we don't even know our own historical characters. Like, in specific, uh, specifically for Uganda, when we talk about Ugandan history, I felt I felt like people were far more interested in the 20th century uh, than they were in the period before that, and mm. I guess because. Maybe it's far more relevant, uh, but people will really be hard pressed to tell you anyone else other than Kabaka Mutesa, uh, uh, the first of Buganda, and maybe Kabalega. Mm. But beyond that, mm. can you name any other one in Uganda? <laughs> it's like, and and stuff like that. I'm just like, that's not good. That's really, really, really not good. <laughs> yeah, like what there can't have only been two uh so there's I, I have so many things planned that um i would like to do this year to be able to bring more visibility to those people even though i don't know much about them but hey maybe you could take that character and you could expand on them and you could uh you know do something cool with that you know I, like let your imagination run wild uh because I'm going to let mine run wild. <laughs>